So, I thought I'd just talk about my philosophy on business while I clean up and make room for our new perfume oils inventory. I'm not an expert on anything by far, but I can at least share my thoughts that has brought me to this point in my life so far. I came to the conclusion that there are four ways to make money, one being real estate, but my pockets are not that deep. So I knew that it would take some time to get to that level. What I was able to do was make money in the other three ways. So if the first way to make money was through real estate or slash rental property, the second way would be to sell your time, meaning working at a job, getting paid by the hour or even a salary. The third way would be to sell your service or a product. We're going to start with service. The main ones I can think of would be maybe like lawn care or some type of cleaning service, even a course or something that you sell to somebody else, something you don't have to keep buying into. You're just selling your service. And the fourth one would be some type of retail, selling a product, whether it's a product that you buy and sell or a product that you make. So my thought process was this. I needed to be doing at least three of those things so that way I can afford to do what I want to do in life. The ones that I can afford would be to sell my time, to sell a product, and to sell a service. And with the internet, online selling was very easy. It was the one that I can do very possibly and be considered a passive source of income. While I used my time to make room or to make money in the other two ways. Even though I decided to do this, I knew I had to take action. There's a story where there's three birds on a branch and one of them decides to fly away. How many are left? Most people would say two, but the answer is still three. Just because that one bird decided to fly away doesn't mean he took action and executed his plan. I had to execute my plan or else I was just daydreaming. So I had to get to work. So I got a job, was getting paid by the hour. It was a simple job, it wasn't anything fancy. And then I started to teach certain courses that would help me make a little bit more money while I was putting my products online to sell. I could just place them online and have it go. And that worked out well for me. I was able to save up enough money to take my business to the next level, which was opening up a brick and mortar shop. And that's what brought me to where I am today. Three sources of income that were coming in at the same time that was helping me make my dreams come true.